Hello guys, my name is Stefan Menasso, and uh, on this beautiful day in Quebec City, about zero degrees Celsius, I'd like to show you something very interesting about recharging a Chevy Volt using DC power source. All right, so what you can see here is a adjustable DC power source. This one uh, is up to 200 and, uh, uh, 2,500 watts, zero to 125 volt a uh, DC, up to 30 amp. This is a small watt meter that I will use. This is a DC watt meter, source and load. And this is my charge station here that you can see. So normally I connect it to this uh, NEMA 1450, which is a uh, 40 amp breaker on this one, 220. And I have that connector here. So I want to show you exactly that if I put DC on these legs, I can recharge the volt. <laughs> so that is not is not fantastic, eh? <laughs> All right, so let's do it. So I will power the source here. It is adjusted to 125 volt, maximum 30 amp. All right, and you see, it also power up the charge station. And what you can see here, there's zero volt because it's only measuring AC volt, but it powered the, 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 the charge station anyway. And you see here, 125 and eight, about eight watt. So I will connect the Gen 1 Chevy volt. Here you can see. So this is my gun and I will connect it. So you see the light is not green, not yellow. I will connect it right now. I hear the click of the relay here and we'll turn green. All right, charge starting now. And you see, this is the amp power and uh, yeah, seven amp. And you see here, um, going to, yeah, exactly. You see the wattage increasing. So it is charging now, but right now this one is like pulsating because I tried um, many times and it triggers some uh, codes, but it still accept recharge at DC source. You see here, nine, oh yeah, it's like, and, and now it's working it's constant. So 958 watt, and the volt is still charging. So you can use a DC power source to recharge your Gen 1 Chevy Volt using at least this power station here. And what I will try is uh, change the voltage to see if it's constant power, okay? So I will just decrease the voltage, let's say 110, alright, and now it still works. And it will readjust. Okay, so I hear a clicking sound on this one. So it stopped charging at 110. So what I will redo is connect it. So you see it doesn't charge. I will connect it back and do it again. Turn yellow. Probably it didn't like the voltage change and just stop charging. But if you begin a charge with this voltage, it should work. So we'll see. Yeah, 600 watts, 700 watts, 900 watts, and about the same power. And you will see here 8 amp instead of 7. So it's working. It's, and it's constant, it won't stop. You see, 110 volt. 8 amp, about 930 watts. So the volt is charging at 110 volt DC. You want to try with uh, 100 volt? Well, do. So I will disconnect this one. Just to make sure. All right, let's be careful. We'll readjust the voltage here to Exactly 100 DC. You see, charge station will just. I will just shut it down and power it on again. 
All right. So I fired the charge station again. And now it's time to connect the gun for 100 volt. Yellow light. Hear the relay clicking. Well, I begin at 100 volt DC. All right. So we'll see here. 600, 700, 800. Yeah. So it's it's not it's not 900 watt. It's 800. So it's little less power. It's still at about 800 uh, 8 amp. So it won't compensate above 8.5 amp at 100 volt, but it's still charged, you see. So if I will put my zero motorcycle, which is 102 volt, it will still accept it, and I did it. <laughs> so, wanna try lower voltage? Well, do. So, we'll disconnect the volt here. All right, and do the same. Let's try 95. Ninety-five volt. I will just stop the power supply to reset the charge station. And on again for ninety-five volt. And it's on for ninety-five volt. All right. I will try ninety-five volt. Okay. I hear the relay clicking here. charge at 95 volt oh <laughs> good news again so 95 volt 8.7 amp and you will see wattage 820 volt at 95 volt dc so i can recharge the volt the Chevy volt gen 1 at 95 volt dc power want to try 90 volt will do <laughs> all right so, well, instead of disconnecting everything, I will just power it up, readjust the voltage to 90 volt, and see if it will start again. All right, is booting. Oh, the relay click, yellow light. Oh, nothing, nothing. So it won't recharge at 90 volt, but we'll try something else. We'll do the same as we did, disconnecting it. And we'll connect. So maybe the charger PWM circuit inside will just readjust correctly. Oh, no. So you have the answer. At 90 volt, it won't recharge at all in DC. It just doesn't work. No power. But at 95 volt is working. Hey, is it a good news? So you can recharge your Chevy Volt with DC power source down to 95 volt DC. And for above 125 volt DC, like I, char uh, I tested, I guess you can go up to 240 volt DC because in AC it's the same. And if, uh, in fact, the peak value of 240 volt uh, AC is like 300 volt or something. So it means that you could recharge your volt at that DC uh, source. But be aware that uh, AC fuses are not rated for DC uh, current. Uh, so you have to pay attention in the whole circuit to make sure that uh, nothing is blowing because these fuses are not rated for DC. So again, Stefan Menasson here. And um, if you like this uh, video, click uh, on the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.